Hello, welcome to my channel today. I'm Kate and I am all about alcohol inks today and I am exploring the inks with a hairdryer. So let's see what fun we can have. Stick around and that's coming up next. Okay, so to start with, I'm just gonna get some um, alcohol and ink down and I'm gonna do this with um, just one color to start with. I might add in a second color afterwards. So I've got that ink and um, alcohol, 99% alcohol moving around um, the ink and I'm just gonna push it a little bit more with the straw. And I'm gonna get my hairdryer out in a minute, but I just wanted to get a bit of a base down to start with nothing with any design or thought really just a nice thin layer of ink i'm using probably the um, ranger ink this is a denim i love the denim there's so many cool colors that come out of it um, you don't even need to add any other colors really um, it's just a really really nice color that comes through you get those um, of really vibrant pale blues and then you also get like these pinks and purples that come through as well depending on how thick or diluted the ink is so so yeah just building up my base getting a variation of color down okay so we need to get to the really fun bit so let me speed this video up so we can get there a little bit faster Okay, yay, now for the fun bit. Um, let's get everything kind of organized here and we're gonna get our blow dryer out and we're just gonna start blow drying directly on top. I just wanna start moving those, um, what's just a little bit wet still, just move that around to start with. And we've already got a really nice base. I usually like to do a base because when you start to do this other, um, kind of work with the hairdryer. Um, it's just nice that it's got something already down on the Yupo to mix with. I just find you get more um, interesting colors that start to appear and textures that start to appear when you've already got that base color down because the ink always reactivates once you put the alcohol or more ink down on top. So just gonna get some blobs down to start with and then spray those with some isopropyl as well just to get that ink moving around <laughs> kind of looks like a abstract um, face right now didn't see that when I initially did it okay let's get this blow dryer in so I try to stay close to the paper and I try and have it on a um, warm setting uh, my blow dryer unfortunately doesn't have a cool setting so you could give that a go if you wanted to but it's just to move it and the lower you are to the paper the more kind of control you have um, you don't want to be directly on top of it you want to be just behind it um, behind the place that you're trying to um, the opposite place that you're trying to blow it into if you're trying to blow it into a specific area or you can just build up the layers by um, just going around in circles around your blobs as well. So at this point, I'm not adding any more ink. I'm just simply adding alcohol and reactivating that ink as it keeps drying, which is what I want. But when we reactivate it, we get all these cool patterns that start to appear because it starts to lift some of it, but not all of it. And then you got all these cool marks. So it's just about building it up, having patience, going back in, Then when you're ready, you can add some more ink from the um, from the bottle, straight from the bottle, and then add more alcohol to that. So we're constantly adding the isopropyl alcohol as well. It just helps that ink to move a little bit more, and that's when we start to get these really cool colors. So I started off really thin in the background, and I'm starting to build up some color by um, going between some of the isopropyl and sometimes the ink as well. Um, and I'm just 
really close to the paper and just trying to push it up in the direction. So I start below it and then as it moves away from me I'll kind of follow it and chase it so that it continues to go in the direction that I want it to go. And sometimes I just only add the isopropyl alcohol as well because I really want to just get that ink moving, get those really cool patterns that start to appear and you get more of this happening when you add the alcohol. I find if you start adding too much ink right in the beginning, um, you just end up with a lot of heavy, heavy ink everywhere. And it's when it's thinned out that you really get those cool colors. So I have only used one color at this point, but you can already see that there's like that dark blue, there's a medium blue, then there's a really um, light blue in there as well but then there's also some shades of purple and pink which are really really nice and that's just all from the one ink by Ranger um, which is called denim so if you haven't discovered this color yet I would put it on my priority list to buy it because I it's one of my favorites um, along with eggplant and black that those two are also my favorites as well what is your favorite color? Do you have one or do you have a favorite color combo? You should put those in the comments below. I'd love to um, learn other combinations as well um, from you guys. So let me know if you have your favorite. Pop that in the comment below. Okay, let's try and move a little bit more of the pure ink. You see, you don't get the same cool effect. So it definitely has its place, but I'm going to add more alcohol to it just to help push it around a little bit more and get some really cool marks. So I'm going to leave this with you. I will come back at the end, but just so you, I'm not waffling throughout, um, I will let you watch in peace and I will talk to you in a minute. There was a point um, there I added um, some alcohol and as I added the alcohol I blasted it with the hair dryer at the same time so then you got these really kind of cool streaky blobs that removed some of the color in there so I'll do a close-up of that in a minute um, but hopefully you've been inspired and this is a um, a piece that I could then work on as um, this is my background or you could kind of frame it as is if you wanted to but there's so many cool textures in there from um, the streaks that we get from the spray and um, just the mingling and the way that the hair dryer moves the ink around is really really cool so give it a go let me know your results and if you have any questions put those below as well and if you've enjoyed the video please subscribe click that bell and I will see you on the next video